The ball is well and truly in England's court. That's as simple as things have become here. Win by enough, and the Six Nations trophy is yours. They're opponents of France. They're at home in Twickenham, and it is all coming down to this. Hello, everyone, and welcome along to Cornflakes Crib, your home of Rugby Challenge 2. And the Six Nations, where England are at home once again to France this week in the final Six Nations match of this year's competition. Win here tonight and win well, and you can take home the Six Nations Trophy England. That is as simple as it is. Here is this team. It's just a couple of changes in the second row. Parling is coming in for Adwood, and that really is all the changes there is. He'll partner Laws, who just came back the week before. England staying true to their 15 and staying true to the team that has got them this far. Well, France go through some players, don't they? Over the last few years, we have seen an absolute pile represent the French rugby side. Today is no different, and it's a good France team too. I struggle to see how they can be so inconsistent with some real good talent coming through. A lot of young players when they've got the likes of Tillis Board, Plisson there in the back line as well. Spinning will start a fullback, and of course, Fiku at outside centre. He will partner Murmos in the centre positions. In the forwards is another new name with Goujon at number eight will be starting there for France. It's just a good French side and they will do well here against England, I would imagine. You just cannot afford to fall apart here in the final Six Nations match. France will be looking forward to a World Cup as well and their preparation would have started here just like everyone else. And a good performance in their final outing could see them go into the rest of their campaign with a lot of confidence. All set to get this one underway it will be France doing the kicking off. They are in the blue, very nice new looking kit too for the French. And of course England in the white, we're set to go. Plisson gets this one underway. England receiving, Brill with the first touch forward and there we go. Instantly England go to the backs. Marla, oh big shot to his, to his right. Takes him out quickly. Haskell involved again, Young's in behind the defence, that's dreadful, it's an opportunity, it's there for Fiku, who goes to Noel and he puts it in goal. Wow, what a start from France, I thought England were good, but France have just turned this up again of their first little episode of the match, what a start. 22 dropout from Ford, it goes down, and waiting there, spinning, it gives it away to Doucetois, who's taking a hit, oh, he's injured himself, in their country, to Thierry Doucetois, this is huge, here's the change, it's with Drago, who will come onto the field, wow, what a blockbuster this has been already, no Doucetois, Crash. For 75 more minutes for France. How will this affect them? Scrum feet will be what they'll start off with. Tillis Board will do it. And waiting at the back, Goujon, for France. Tillis Board, what way will he go? He goes short side, looking for Medan, and he slips it back and fell. Oh, ho, ho. Well, Drago's been absolutely monster there. First touch of the ball. Now it's Jose. As he takes a little step in field. Nowhere to go there for him. LaRue. Back it goes. Poisson. Oh, he looked like he wanted to kick. But he's Release. got a big tackle from Lords. And he's drilled him backwards. England fighting for this ball. There it goes. Back to England. Harling. Haskell. Ford. Nice ball. Giving it away to Brill. And he takes it to ground. England on the brink here. They know they'll have the right. mental edge at the moment. It's accepted, but it'll be a penalty for the offside as Mermos and Fiku combine and just about get away with it. There's a the penalty. It was Mermos. And a golden chance here for England to open their account. And why not? Huge opportunity. It's all about momentum, it's all about points, it's all about winning. Can England put the coppers on the French here? 
and take this match and possibly the Six Nations. Kick is good from forward, it's 3-0. Well, if England can win this by a, a decent enough amount, the Six Nations will be theirs. But it is all about winning first and foremost. They have the lead heading into this round. They know what they need to do. Here's Parling. Quickly up flows to Joseph. He's still got a man forward with him. Oh, good tackle. Ford goes down in a heat. That was sensational defence. France are equal at the moment. Tillis board, nice offload. Finding Gerardo and he goes to ground. Release. Right on halfway. Hujang slips it back. Chance here for France as they look left. It's a new man. He slips it wide. Big passes here from France and it's a chance over there from Midgard and he goes to ground. Nice tackle from Mike Brown. Well, England massively on the back foot here is Tillis Board. Big opportunity, puts up the bomb, up he goes, and he's got it back to his board. Sensational individual effort. Well, England have gone to sleep and they've missed out completely. What a start from Sebastian Tillis Board. Look at this. Thought he could have run that. He had the speed. Look at had the space as well, but up against two big men. Second row on a back rower. Rob Shaw and Lords could not handle him as the little scrum half, look at this, just beautifully pops it up and dots down in the corner, France lead. Well, no one's really spoken of it, but should England lose this match, the Six Nations is out of their grasp. What an upset it would be. But France is a good team. There's Bassani, and now the conversion. That is a beautiful kick. That is very good. The moment he kicked that, you knew it was going nowhere but between the sticks. What a start for France. England were content to play it cool. Take the points on offer. Has that possibly backfired on them now? Ford. Gets his back underway with a high kick to the left. Joseph chasing hard. Oh, beautifully taken from Mujay. He finds Mumuz, who slips it outside. Now the chance to Barty. Giving it in his Fiku. Oh, flows nicely. With Drago. Pass and found Medard. Oh, this is sensational from France. This is France everyone knows and dreads to play against as well. Short pass. LaRue. Release. No way through there for him, and it's finally England control this match a little bit as Mass does the same. Hit up with the forwards. Oh, big pass to the left side, and here's another chance for Midard, and he's taken down from Watson. Oh, they've got to watch this, England. France are happy to go wide as his Mass again. Getting the ball from Tillis Board is, is the scrum half. Popping one up again for LaRue. Nice ball around the corner for Plasson. Oh, they're very tempting at the moment of France. Left side. Oh, big hit after the kick. As Brown goes up to four. And he's through. Here's a chance for England. He's got it to Joseph. Joseph away from Tillis Board. The chase is on. I think he'll have enough. He's going to get it in. England has scored back. What a return! What a comeback! All from within their own 22! There's a miracle play from Mike Brown and George Ford. You don't see where the magic started, but Joseph just, just, just hit enough to keep away from Tillis Board. Oh, ho, ho. what a try! Try of the Six Nations. Look at that, he was just swatting away at Tillis Board, just trying to keep him out of his reach. What a sensational try. That is magical. That is England's best right there. Well, I thought Mike Brown would have taken the mark, but he didn't. He hit that at pace, and when he hit that ground, he was through in a half gap already. He found this man, George Ford, who just complimented that break. It is 8-7. France will hate that scoreline, but now it is 10 7. England extend the lead with a conversion from Ford. Wow, that was special. One of the tries of the Six Nations, no question whatsoever. 
Plasson's back to halfway. He's kicking off as Haskell waits for it. So is Burrell, but Ford is the one who ends up now with it. Laws, quick hands, intercepted! And Masterman on hand, but look at Robshaw. He's stolen. Oh, what is he thinking? Tillis Porter gets it back. And France, oh goodness me, what a run. And there, no less, they put him to ground. Half time goes as, oh, Plasson slides through Police. again. England might have this ball back. What's their chosen play here? Ford moving backwards, finds Watson. This is something special again. England running away, up against the fullback, spinning. He takes a good tackle. Youngs up to Parley. Watson delivers a wide for Rob Shaw. There's numbers again here. White jumpers for England. It's no. He puts on the fan. He's got away. And the chase is no good. No scores for Oh, he's gone dead. Oh, this is just absolutely horrific from England. Noel has gone dead and goal, diving to score the try. Unbelievable stuff. What just happened? It was a simply outstanding play, but he has gone over the white line before placing the ball down. I cannot believe what we have just witnessed. One of the best first halves of rugby in a long time. And rightfully so on an occasion like this. England should have just kicked that ball out. But they sparked something. They sparked a try that was not scored. You would not read about it. You would not read about it at all. England just 41% of possession. Yet they lead and should lead by more as well. They've had no possession, no territory. Yet they lead line breaks. They lead the scores and they're also equal on tackles. What a match this is. France are hanging in there, they're playing great with the ball in hand, but England really coming alive in this last quarter of an hour, and the second 40 for English fans should be no difference. For France, they need to go back to where they were at the first 20 minutes. They were outstanding. Who will come out of the sheds? The better team. Can England hang on? Can they get a decent win? Can they take home the Six Nations? Well, Noel will be absolutely kicking himself. He should be a try scorer. But he's not. Ford will kick off, and we're going left side again. And Joseph, oh, Joseph's been hit hard. England looking to hang on to position here, dedicating a lot of players. France, not so. Here he is, the man who butchered that try. Noel finds Burrell. Harling, offloading, nice in, and Cole, and Dan Cole, what a run there from the prop, he slips it out, Watson, and field, he goes in, it's lost, and it goes back to Mermos, who's eventually Release. got the ball to Gerardo, who goes to ground, now he's a chance for Michard, and he goes to ground, England looking Release. to turn this over, but it's France with their hands on the ball, on their own 22, Mass goes Release. back, oh goodness, wow, Wow, Mala has absolutely punished him. Plasson has gone down in an absolute heap, and the ref really is not interested in even looking at what's happened. He's called penalty, and he's saying, get on with it. That was a massive hit. Goodness me. He's up at all right now, it seems, Plasson. Good to carry on as France get themselves up to the halfway line. We Gerardo to throw in into the middle he goes and Main Street puts down until his board decides to kick and put pressure on England Watson, Watson oh this is looking alright as no 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 has not got the pass away it was 4 on 1 Laws, Laws is held up now as well, looking to drive our England, the time is ticking there is just 3 points in this game Looking to make up for it, Noel, as he slips up wide for Haskell. Haskell's got friends and Burrell. Burrell gets the wheels turning. He holds it up. Watson's in touch. Can you believe it? England just are not having the luck at all. Now it's France again. Gerardo will throw in. This time, again, it's to Main Street. He's held up. And France's side, they'll run it out. Mas goes short to LaRue, and he puts it back inside nicely to Gujan. And he slips it up over the 10-meter line. 
Tillis Ford, big pass. Surely he was out there, but his carry on is inside. It goes to Fiku who gets the ball nicely away. Majad has been devastating out on that left side for France, but they're going to lose this ball. Has come back for Parling. He finds Ford. Ford puts a foot down. Slips it upfield. No, oh, he's thrown it to no one. And it's come away for Fiku. Oh, who has been smashed into touch. Now the two centres for France are really putting in a good performance here. And this one's going down to the wire. 20 to go. Throw in at the front. Parling and gives it away. Now Rob Shaw hits the line and nicely to Burrell. Who has to feed it wide as Watson quickly passes it back to Haskell. As they go wide to Joseph. Joseph running away. This time Watson's in tow. Gets it to Yant. Who have the head start? Has he got the legs? The chase is coming hard. But it'll be a try to Yant. And England will get the incentive they should have got before the break. Well, the little scrum half scores. Ben Youngs gets the try. And England's lead is extended now out to eight points. But it was very hard to get through that right-hand side. And look at the chase. Matard had the speed. There's no question on Ben Youngs. But he just had the head start. He had plenty of field. Look at this. Big gap. Huge gap for Youngs. And he was gone. Pinned the airs back. Really had to hammer out, out there. Gets the try for England. That could be decisive here. Well, they've looked good, England. They just have not had their finishing luck that they've probably been used to. Couple of tries have been well and truly butchered with 15 to go. Here is the... Oh, he's hit the upright from right in front. Well, those are points that really could be devastating to a team come the final tally one try a conversion now they've thrown away at least 12 or so points kicked off again and up goes Haskell nice hit of Brill he's through finds Joseph Joseph needs the support from Watson oh that's not bad Watson does well just to hang on but he's going to lose the ball here it goes back the way of France. No support of the ruck as Mass is hammered. Big nice. tackle on him. France want to hold on to this ball. Into the 70th minute we go now. Fiku offloads nicely. Nadal, nice ball in Seattle. And here's a chance. Fiku again. He's running away. Where's the support for England in defence? There it is for France. Well, this is a good run here from Gujon. Nice. And he goes to ground on the 22. France. Not finished yet, all around. Nice pass. Slips it back in field. Does Munoz. Tillis Board, he's already got one. He's looking for another. Watson just drags him down short. And Watson turns it over. Watson sets it up. Oh, France. Oh, massive numbers. Now they go short side. It's again Machado. Oh, he's just Release. short. It's advantage France. They're just a meter out. Back to Plasson. No way through there. Advantage still to the French. Wide they go now. Murmos. And field it goes. And the stand for Flanquan. He can't get through. And the penalty going to France. Ben Young's offside. Changes here for the French as well. LaRue off. Scholey on. Possibly many more as well. Oh, this is close. Look at this. Vunny Puller is lining up Plusson here. Oh, he misses him completely and it's a try to France. Oh, wow, what just happened? You saw Vunny Puller looking at Plusson and just giving him the word that he's going to smash him. Yet he missed him completely. And it's going to be a kick that will decide whether it's one point or three points. I don't know if we'll get a restart. Haskell was absolutely distraught. Will the try score at 9 and 10 for France? And could the penalty then open up the scoring be the difference? It will be. Can you believe it? Oh, it's hit it. Oh, it's gone wide. I thought that was over, but it's still going to be three points the difference. 15 12. What a match. Full time is gone, and England 
may have to wait and see whether they have secured the Six Nations here. They've won, and it should be enough for them to be champions, you would think. The calculators are going to have to come out. They've got the job done here against France. And they're celebrating like they are champions, and they may well celebrate as well. What a win this has been, but what a match it's been. What a thriller. These two sides have been playing out of their skin. England should have scored another two or three tries. How did Noel miss that try right on the stroke of half time? Vuni Pula, that tackle that he missed, plus on. I don't know what's going on with England. They had to work hard. But had there been another day, France could have won that match. No question about it. Two tries for England, and let's be completely fair, they were phenomenal tries. All these line breaks that led from England were just out of this world. Youngs and Joseph getting one each. They were great tries. Even Noel's try was fantastic as well. Ford, a conversion and a penalty. As for France, Attila's board and Plusson, the 9 and 10 were good. France was good. They were fantastic tonight. Just could not get quite over that line. Plusson missed one conversion got one himself and they gave him the 12 points in the end 15 12 what a match france dominated possession and territory it did not come away with the result pretty much 60 40 on both stats it was a good game it was a clean game the one penalty that opened up was a real few indiscretions in the match not many mistakes either it was a great game of rugby not a huge score, probably should have been more, it got close near the end, but wow. Take a breather after that one, folks. England, Six Nations champions, calculators are out, but they should well be celebrating like they are champions. Other matches still to play, but I think England may well have done enough to claim this year's trophy. That is the Six Nations done and dusted for me. England get the final round win, 15-12, a close one over France. What a match this has been. What a series this has been. England, well, it's a start to what could be a fantastic year for English rugby fans. What a match, though, to kick the end of the Six Nations. Thank you for tuning into the whole series if you have, and I hope you've enjoyed every single match. Remember to leave a thumbs up if you're enjoying the series and let me know exactly what you guys are liking to watch as well. And I'll see you all next time. Plenty more rugby to come. It's a massive year of rugby 2015. So stick around and stay tuned. We'll have all the good stuff coming straight to you as always here on Cornflakes Crib. Thank you all again for watching and I'll see you all next time. Until then, take care.